All right, I'm not sure what happened to my video, but it got crazy bad. <laughs> so we're going to redo this video about weather. <laughs> but um, look, folks, we have all kinds of weather from the Rocky Mountains all the way to India, Bangladesh, to, you know, Germany, to... <laughs> so it's hard to make an international video, but... I will say, you know, there are precautions that we need to take for when it's horrible rainy because it's going to start to get rainy and wet here in the U.S. in a variety of places. In some places, it's already snowing. So in some other parts of the world, it might be snowing already. So it's, it's hard to kind of pick out, you know, weathers. But Let's let's take fall, for instance, uh, where it gets wet, it gets full of leaves um, and puddles um, everywhere because the leaves clog up the streets, and so you have puddles everywhere. So you you know, being in a wheelchair that can present a challenge. So we we really have to figure out a way to make sure our wheelchairs don't get super wet, um, especially in the motor area. Uh, we have to make sure that our tires are in good shape because, you know, the, the, the leaves on top of water can get, you know, super slippery, and especially early mornings when um, well there could be a, a, a slight... Uh, layer of ice <laughs> so <laughs> and that has happened to me you know i have slipped on those fine layers so you know we have to be super careful in the fall because that ice you can't see it and the puddles that are coming up you know from on the corners especially so we have to you know take our time and if we have to go around, look for another cut in the sidewalk, it's best to do that than to get our wheelchairs ruined or to get ourselves all wet. So, um, so sometimes it's worth going around. The other thing is um, those are the dangers of fall. And sometimes construction on top of the leaves, on top of the, the water that's accumulating. So... So those are the things we really need to watch out. And, and if we have to make the sacrifice to look for another cut, then we do that uh, to get down safely. Sometimes the corner that we have to cross is not too safe. So sometimes we have to look for another corner that we know we're not going to face, you know, um, cars turning right on, on a red. Uh, those are pretty dangerous. Uh, I would request the counties to put some lines on those corners so we have a safety zone when we get off the sidewalk and so the cars don't, you know, can't go over those lines. They have to go around the lines. So there is some, some safety there. In California and a lot of counties, you cannot turn right on a red. So there's some safety there. <laughs> In a lot of counties throughout, you know, my state, you can turn right on a red. So unless it's indicated, there's a sign that says do not turn right on a red because it's a five-corner place. So, so those are the things, you know, the fine ice, the puddles, the leaves covering, you know, fine ice. So we have to really be careful and find other ways to get off of the sidewalk if we need to. Even if it's in the middle of the street, you know, sometimes we, we have to do that, figure out a, a safe place to cross. Um, the next one is winter. Uh, winter is pretty difficult uh, for a lot of people who live in the north of the United States because we have, um, we have a lot of snow. In the south, they have ice. <laughs> so I don't know how they deal with it, but there's ice. And, you know, just those days when there's ice storms, I just wouldn't go out. I just, there's just no way. <laughs> so, 
No way. So here we have the snow, and sometimes it's it's not avoidable. When there's bad snow and a lot of snow, I just don't go out. I just don't. Maybe I have to cancel an appointment or something, but I just don't go out. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> um, but the same thing, you know, it's, it's the ice. I've gotten stuck in snow twice, and it's not pretty because there's nobody around, and you can't get out, and you're trying to get to your destination, and you, you're just stuck. So um, it, it, is it preventable? Almost not, because they shovel sidewalks and not very well. They don't put out, um, what's it called, salt for t the rest of it to melt. And sometimes the, s the sun doesn't come out to melt the rest of the snow. So you are on a slippery slope when you're going through the sidewalks. And worse when you have snow accumulated on those corners that you need to cross. <laughs> so it's, it's a nightmare sometimes with the snow. And, you know, sometimes I just decide to use the county van rather than battle all these issues. Now, some people don't have that luxury to use the county vans and special rides, but in the winter, you know, especially the power wheelchairs, well, the manual wheelchairs too, you know, you're trying to drive your power, your manual wheelchair with your hands. It's cold, it's wet, and, you know, you could get stuck too. Uh, for manual wheelchairs, so <laughs> it, it's tough, folks. In the winter, it's tough. I think it's the toughest season that we have for wheelchair users. So, you know, I, I, would, I would take this fall, I would take this fall to figure out alternative ways of transportation for yourself to, to get from point A to point B in the winter. In lower areas like California and those warm areas, you know, you're, you're going to have cold, you're going to have wet, you know. Um, and so those are miserable to go out with a wheelchair. And power wheelchairs, so we have to be careful how much wet we're going through. But do, do make an effort to find alternative transportation for yourself. And you, you have difficulty for that, you know, find a... a a person who gives you support to help you look through county services so you can get from point A to point B, you know, when the weather gets bad. I would not want anybody getting stuck on a corner and then have a car turn right on red and just take you with them. Because <laughs> that's a probability, you know, so we really have to be careful in areas in which it's not safe to cross because there's no stripes on those um, crosswalks. Really request one, you know, pick up signatures, whatever it is, uh, but make sure that in the neighborhood where you live that winter becomes safer for wheelchair users, that fall becomes safer for you as a wheelchair user and I think that you have no value. You do. Call the county. Have a couple of friends in wheelchairs that, you know, that can get together and say, hey, we struggle with this in our county. There are streets that are very dangerous for us to cross. Can you put some lines there on the corners and on the crosswalk so that we can be safe or be safer there's too many of us being hit. There's too many of us being uh, hit and killed. So, you know, then it's like, oh, we should have done this and we should have done. No, do it before some tragedy happens, you know. So I just want to say for those who really struggle and, you know, don't have those safeguards to get from point A to point B, to try to push yourself a little bit and try to see if you can find alternative transportation or when the weather is bad, it's cold, it's wet, it's snowy, 
so you don't get stuck, so you don't get, you know, in, in a pickle when you're out there. Because I think fall and, and winter are, are weathers that we can get in a pickle, a big pickles. <laughs> so if you can imagine a big pickle. Truly, I, I want everybody to be safe on the road. And this video, I, I, it's a promotion, if you want to call it that, to be safer on the roads during fall and during winter. Uh, if there's a storm coming, you know, be, be aware of your weather around you so you don't end up in a downpour, uh, so you don't end up in a huge snowstorm and you get stuck out there with no help. So have backups, you know, somebody you can call, uh, a store that you can go into and, and take a break from, from the weather and be able to get home safely without getting, you know, frostbite and everything else. So um, I think it's worth it that we consider tracking the weather, making sure that we scout out places where we can cross that are safer than certain corners that get full of snow, get full of leaves, and the area gets all stuck and, and the water accumulates in XYZ corner all the time, and we know it, so that corner is not viable during the fall. You have to find some place that's better, safer for you to cross, even if you have to go down a block to get to a cut in the sidewalk that's safer. So it's some of these things and all of these things that we can do. In uh, previous videos, you've seen me talk about flags and um, reflective stickers and, you know, the, the handlebar uh, wraps for manual wheelchairs that they can wrap around their uh, wheelchair, cool colors and everything else that are reflective and the cars are gonna notice them um, before, before it's too late. A lot of our wheelchairs, especially power wheelchairs, are black, they're dark colors, and can blend in to all the movement around the drivers, the car drivers. So, you know, go with somebody else so that, you know, they're helping uh, you look around and making sure there's no cars coming or stopping a car, slowing them down, whatever it is. So, so it's just a plea on my part to say, you know, fall is coming and winter is coming, and those are difficult uh, weathers for us, especially in the north. And in the south, you have the crazy ice storms. So I'm sure you don't go out during an ice storm. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure you don't. So no, just, just really care about yourself. And um, as some of you, unfortunately, are in shelters or are homeless and you're in a wheelchair, and that is very difficult. But, it, you know, seek out some social services. Seek out, you know, information that can, that can give you, provide you with alternative uh, trans, uh, transportation so that in these difficult weather patterns from... Uh, September to January, February, that you are safer getting from point A to point B. Let us reduce this year, all of us, to try to reduce and eliminate those of us who go out on the streets and get hit by a car. Let us see if we can, from our own actions, let's see if we can reduce or eliminate the numbers of us who get hit by a car. So, let us see what we can do ourselves to uh, find alternatives so we can avoid these dangerous times during these months to, to get hit. Um, being hit is not fun, so, <laughs> and it's, you know, it's not worth it. I know some people are daredevils and they <laughs> want to go out there no matter what because it's fun. It's, it's, it, it gives them adrenaline, but um, it, it just isn't. Because <laughs> then your wheelchair gets ruined. Oh, it's just a mess. So you don't want to complicate your life more. We already have, you know, our issues and our struggles 
So let's let's try to avoid that one because I think we can. I think if we all put our efforts in and, and put down below what you did this year and these next few weeks, what you did to um, find some alternative transportation during these difficult months and um, was it county, was it a friend, was it, you know, you don't have to say who, but just just share what you did to find an, a safer way to travel during fall and winter so that we can say to the county, hey, we did all this <coughs> to keep ourselves safe. We want you to please put more stripes on more crosswalks and we want you to put some stripes on the corners where we have to get off and cross the road. Um, so this is, this is really important to us. So if we make our steps, then, then the, the county should put their five cents into it. All right, folks, this is my promotional video about weather and all the things that you can do to keep yourself safe and if you um, can find a flag that you can put on your manual power wheelchair, <coughs> the better. So see if county and social services can help you with that or the hospital rehab that uh, works with you to assist you in getting um, you know, a flag or stickers that you can put on your manual or power wheelchair to be more visible. All right, folks, I'll start babbling. <laughs> Stop babbling. <laughs> but thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, spending some moments with me. Uh, I hope you all are well. And if you would like to help my channel, the best thing you can do is to like the video, uh, to share, to comment, and to subscribe if you want to come back and just be part of our community. That would be awesome. Um, I won't complain at all <laughs> if you subscribe. <laughs> so, all right. Take care. And don't forget the Olympics. They're still going on. Take care.